Being recording and transcription. Here we go. Um, so I think this is the way we're going to ultimately um, create a new logic app You need to go talk to somebody. You could go. Uh, no, I just, she was going to clean uh, the room and I told her not. Oh, right now. okay. So I'm going to close this solution. We're going to start it from scratch. Yeah. Save, yeah. save it. Okay. So what would you like to do? I think what we're going to have ultimately happen is we will clone a repository um, from Azure DevOps. We will have a repository. I will have already established a repository. So you, Galen, as you go to uh, set up your new project slash solution in Visual Studio, you'll you'll have this URL already. Right. And with from within Visual Studio, you'll type that in and then give it a folder, a local folder name from where to clone or from where to, where to save that locally. Right. You hit okay. clone. It'll bring it down. We'll wait for this to cook for a second. Um, we'll go ahead and open that solution then. And then within that solution, we'll have folders for each of our logic apps. So if you were tasked with changing JT test logic app, you would have the JSON file for that. You can just open that with the uh, Logic App at, at Logic App Designer in the, the Dev Resource Group. We're currently using Sandbox, but we'll tell it Sandbox for right now. Ultimately, that'll be in Dev. Right. And then you'll have access. You'll have the ability to do all of your programming against this Logic App, deploy it, and also save the changes. And when you uh, deploy, that's mm -hmm. saving it to azure as well correct that's correct when you do okay. you you'll do a um i might have to figure this out there is there's a there's a deploy option yeah. and you deploy to sandbox and i think it it asks you um there's some you you tell it what deployment template you want to use so we okay. would use the jt test app test logic app and then that will actually push it out and you could run it check it um and validate everything is correct. After oh. you do that, after you deploy it, run it, validate it, everything's good to go. You've saved the changes back into the JSON file. You'll come over here to get changes. It, the changed JSON file will show up here, and then you can do a git commit to push that back up into the repository in Azure DevOps. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, and then, all of the automation pipelines will kick in from there. Uh, what will, at a high level, what will happen is the 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 JSON code you've committed um, for the logic app in the dev resource group will get picked up via the pipeline and changed connections changed and then deployed into test. So all those connections will okay. change for the, what we want them to be in the test resource group. So if there's like a database connection, it'll get changed from the de dev database to the test database. Test data. And yep. that's all automatic instead of like Adeptia where it's like a cumbersome process. That's it'll right. It'll be just really easy. That's so, the, again, that's the plan. <laughs> it's yes. not there and yet, but that's it. the plan. I know you will do it. Yeah, I've got it. it to work. I've got it to work in it in, in on for a single logic app. I don't have it to work across an entire repository of logic apps yet. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Now that that covers how to get access to the repository of logic apps and access an existing logic app. Um, could probably drill down more into the details. I could probably record another video where I show exactly how to do those deployments and, and things right here out of Visual Studio, which I'll put on my list of things to do. But the other piece I want to make sure we get recorded today is how do we create a new logic app from within this solution? And that's what you helped me figure out. So what we'll do is we'll right click on the solution and do an add and add. And first we're going to add a new folder and we'll give this folder a name of the new logic app. So let's just call it JT testing one, two, three. 
and um, I'm going to copy that just because I'm going to use that here in a, a few seconds. So then within that folder, I want to add a new item. And for the item, I want to add an Azure Resource Management Deployment Template because it's this ARM template that contains the workflow of the Logic App itself. So we'll go ahead and hit Add on that guy. And um, within there, this just creates an ARM template JSON file. And what I need to now add into this JSON file is a new resource. And I right click and hit add new resource. And that will give me a list of all of the different Azure objects I can actually create using an ARM template of which we're only really interested in a logic app. And then I'm going to give it a name of what I just copied from my folder name of JT testing one, two, three. And we're going to go ahead and add that. And then I believe I can do uh, save as on this guy and I can call it just to keep all the names in alignment, JT testing one, two, three, save. And now I have that logic app there, which I can now open with the logic app designer. Tell it the resource group, say OK, and it will give me a blank logic app from which to start my work. I may get a script yeah. error here again. Yay, exactly. <laughs> I've been trying to figure this out forever. <laughs> yeah, there's my script error. I'll just continue. Well, see, um, Plural Sites already helped us. It has. <laughs> That's great. So then I can, let's just uh, do a schedule here. A recurrence we'll just put some there and say new step um let's go ahead and we'll just so this is uh where's my oh yeah this guy we'll just send an email um down in s's we're send yeah send an email it should Put me, it should give me a connection that's already available in that. Why does it keep giving group. you my connection? I don't know. That must be, <clears throat> is that the, I, I, I don't know on that. I don't know why, yeah. but what we'll have here is we'll have, I shall, I will already have connections established in each of the resource groups and mm -hmm. the connection should be valid. So you shouldn't even have, we shouldn't even have to worry about doing um, any of these connections. It'll just, um, mm -hmm. it'll just pick the right one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. yep. So it'll pick it'll pick the right one. We'll send the email. So now I'll just do a. Um, new logic app in Visual Studio. And yay. <laughs> I like yay. that. <laughs> um, and then we'll just go ahead and um, save this guy. So once it's saved, we could deploy it. We could run it. We could validate the uh, results of this logic app in the in the uh, resource group in which we deploy it. But after we're all happy with that, we can go over here to get changes and we can type a commit message that says new testing, new JT uh, testing. So this is where we one, can two, three. comments. That's right. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Logic app created. And so then we can, let me find the right button here. We'll go ahead and it's, I've got another, it's gonna do that Azure deploy. Let me go back before I do that. Um, can uh, we delete that? That's what I wanted to do oh, was delete okay. that guy. Um, commit all, commit all and push. I wanna, oop. Uh, there we go, I wanna delete him. Yes, I do. All right, so there, I got my just the change I want there with my commit. I'll commit all, save everything. 
One outgoing. Um, and then what I, so that's committed locally to my repository locally. This is the kind of the feature of distributed source control. So it's just out in that repository that um, I created locally, that I cloned locally. To get it back up into Azure DevOps, I'm actually gonna do a push, is the terminology within Git. Um, it's, in, it's initiating the push. Um, I should be able to look at this. When, push, when that's done, I'm gonna look to see if I see it in Azure. That's just what. To, yeah, I just want to. I've uh, just for test, you know, for myself. See it where at in Azure. Won't I see? Okay, once you push that, I won't push, I see it I, in the list of logic apps or no? You won't see it in the resource group because I did not actually go through the process of deploying it out of Visual Studio. Okay. Okay. But okay. you will. We should see it. We should see it um, here. So if I look in my, if I'm in, I'm back in Azure DevOps, and if I go go back to my repos, and I look at, uh, it says in progress here. Oh, it's running a build. <laughs> it's uh -huh. running my pipeline. Uh, oh. How do I? See? Oh, here it is. Here, if I look at my commits, I will see that the new testing uh -huh. one two three logic app was created, and it's actually building <laughs> because okay. I got a build set up with every commit, which. My pipeline needs to be refined a little bit, but I should. Mm -hmm. I, we should. We can see that that new file has showed up. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. So what you what you're uh, what we need to do, and I, I'm not guaranteeing this is going to work, but I think what you were uh, thinking to see this logic app out in the resource group, I would need to come back to the. Uh, solution here and do a deploy into sandbox and tell it okay. I want to use that uh, okay okay so I think if I just do a deploy here oh I gotta give it a name JT uh, I should just be able to paste right yeah save so it's We'll see here. Continue yeah. to re read this output. This is where I'm not sure it's going to work. How do I get oh, to? I wonder your if task failed. failed. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Do you think I it failed can't... because it's still being, um, it's still running in your DevOps? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Um, there's something else going on here. I'm going to have to play with it. How do I? It's on auto hide. I want to get. I want to expand this guy. Shouldn't there be? A... There it is. Oh. Um, yeah, I think I, I'll need to work through the deploy piece of this. Yeah, that's but I funny. think high level, that's 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 what we'll end up doing. We'll do a deploy out of here into Sandbox, but it'll be a deploy into Dev, really, yeah, is what we're right, doing. Yeah. Yep, and then um, that deployment puts it out there, and then you should be able to go see it, you know, out here in um, Sandbox. When we look through all the, that's what you were thinking. Is it would show yeah. up here, and yeah. it will ultimately it will show up where you can view it through the portal as well. Okay. Now, when for right now, when people are working in Visual Studio on either existing or new Logic apps, do you want us to be in a project during Sandbox so you don't have like stuff? I, you know, I don't uh, know no, right, right now, Sandbox is truly that. It's just a willy-nilly place where, you, so you can go and do exactly what I just did. Um, you can either clone that repository, or you can create a new repository and deploy it out of that. However, you want to do it. Um, you tell me which I should do. Like, I would say, go ahead, go ahead and create your own for now, and okay. then I'll, and then once I get, once I get our structure finalized, I've got a meeting with um, Mike at RSM where I think he's going to get into exactly what I just did. Right. Uh, and it'll be good to have his input in that because he'll probably right. teach me some, something new as well. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Uh, so yeah, you, I would say just go ahead and do a, um, I'm going to close my solution. I would say just create a new project mm -hmm. and with every new project, it creates a repository locally for you. 
and you want you want to use an, an Azure resource group as the base of your project. You can see it's already there for. OK. So if you do an Azure resource group. Hit next. It, it, it says where you want to save that at. Yeah, give it a yep. name so you know you can just call it logic app test or however you want to do that. Um, I, and then will I use that same like like if I I don't know for whatever reason created a new project and I wanted that same repository I would just copy the put that repository. No, there we, we'd end up we'd end up having to re rework that a little bit. We could take any logic app you have in your repository and move it over, but it's you, you don't you don't blend the repositories that way. Okay. Uh, it's okay. it's more of a, a manual copy, but I could work with you for that. Okay. So yeah, you just go here, configure new project, hit create. And then you'll here again, you tell it you want a logic app. This is what I did to create that initial repository. Um, and then you'll have your logic. It, it just creates a single logic app, but I'd recommend you start creating folders for all your different logic apps. And then okay. from here you can um, deploy do okay. a new deployment and tell it where you want it to go. So you could tell it you want it to go to Sandbox and deploy okay. from there. So that's that's what I would do. And then you will also have, uh, you can create a Git repository right from here. Um, you could do the clone. Yeah, I, I would say create a new one for now until okay. I get all of this finalized. So you just hit create and then it'll, It'll ask you where, and you can say local only, and just give it a give it a local path. Okay. Okay. A lot of this, a lot of this, um, the nuances and <laughs> subtleties and specifics of Git, you'll be uh, removed from. The only thing you'll really need right. to know is that once you clone it, you're just going to do commits against it and push it up to the Azure DevOps. That's all you're going to really need to know. You're not going to need to know the where it's stored, what the file, how the file layouts are and things like right. that. You were, we're just going to let Git do its thing. It's sort of like that engine running under the hood that we don't ever need to lift the hood on. I do occasionally, right. but <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's that's what I would do with that. OK, perfect. Well, good. You know, I, I, I do ahead. want you to, um, you can stop recording this if you want. Yep, yep. Um, uh, stop recording, and I'll share it with you once I. Thank you.